Hello once again, welcome to another impromptu video. This is something that I didn't think I would be making, but I definitely am making. This is a video on virus killers, in particular the two main virus killers, Virus Checker 2 and Virus Executor. So you might remember Virus Checker 2 from back in the day, and I think this is a fairly recent version, this is 2.5 and with this one you can obviously scan directories for viruses and it's got an inbuilt memory virus blocker on there as well. At the moment my machine is free of viruses but I do have a dodgy partition and unfortunately the Amiga tools that I uploaded last week had the Happy New Year 96 virus all over them so I really do apologise for that, please delete the tools that I gave you last week because they were all full of a virus. So if you want to get rid of that virus in these particular times that we're living through, I definitely recommend using a virus killer. Unfortunately when I ran the whole thing through virus checker, the virus remained in memory and it reinfected the files that I just cleaned with virus checker, so what I had to do instead was run virus executor instead. Now you can find this virus executor on the Aminet, the latest version, of which I think it's 2.3, and yes, it's going to complain about the archiving things there, even though we do have the actual library in my libs directory, and it's going to say it's a non-standard vector because we're running an all 60 machine, and so we are running as fast as we can, this is Kickstart 3.1, and it's saying that there's absolutely nothing in memory. So this virus executor takes the virus checker scenario to the next level and it really does check absolutely everything to make sure that everything's all right. And with this we can check out the preferences as well, we can decrunch crunched files which I've switched off and we can also enable fast file checking as well and I can fight startup and that kind of thing, you can have it automatically run and check everything and with all 60 on the go, this thing should shift through my infected hard drive. So it's already found three viruses already, let's move on to that file check and you can see I've selected an infected directory with all of my games on there and everything that's on there which unfortunately got infected with the happy new year 96 virus. You can see when it finds something, we can either remove the viruses, also remove them, stop checking altogether, or continue, and the virus will only attack exe executable files, or some kind of command, or something like that, and then when you remove the virus, it will tell you that it's removed it, do you want to save the new bit file, and if you click yes, that will then overwrite the old file, and it will put the devirused file in its place. And it's a good job to write these down because sometimes if you try to remove the virus and you try to run these files they will corrupt and if you try that on the execute command sometimes the execute command corrupts once you've virus killed it so it's a good idea to make a note of whatever was virus killed and if i select automatic from now on that will go through my entire directory my entire hard drive and all those Happy New Year 96 viruses will start to pile up in the file virus index and it's already starting to pile up 13 now and it will go through the entire lot and it will clean those out and unlike virus checker this will block the virus from memory before we even start and block its residents and all of its hacks and all the rest of it so that means that this is 100% safe and I'm pointing out copyright 2003 there and 1992 to 2003 you might imagine that this is the most adequate virus checker in the world you can see it's found 41 so far and this was being updated all the way until 2003 which is yesterday in retro terms so that's how near it was it was only yesterday so you can tell that this has the best virus index on the market and it's really quick with the old 60 on board and the fast virus checking and you can see it's getting rid of them and oh no it's found the happy new year installer and this happened because i tried to run the demo maniac 2 program which is called dm and you can see this is the installer which infected my system in the first place this type of virus can only be deleted and if we click on delete it will say oh no we can't delete the virus even though you can't read that that's what it's saying 
So if you click on OK, it will continue and it won't delete that virus. So write it down and delete that outside of this package using perhaps a boot disk and get rid of that package because that's the thing that we ran to get infected in the first place. So that's very important if you find an installer, which I found a number on this hard drive, it's important to get rid of them and make a note of them. And I found one or two things that I wasn't even prepared for when I ran this virus check. So it's now found 55 viruses on this infected hard drive. And again, if you picked up the C archive that I gave or the Libs archive, or any of the tools that I gave out recently, they will be infected by the Happy New Year 96 virus. So what does that do? Nothing. All that does is put a hashtag at the beginning of every single executable, which spreads that same hashtag to every other executable, and it just says Happy New Year 96. It will not form my hard drive, it will not pop up with a message, it will not distract or corrupt your hard drive in any way, it won't do anything. It's just one of them things that spreads everywhere and sometimes it can mess around with directory listings if some kind of file isn't working correctly and it corrupts because of disinfecting sometimes these viruses. And it's found another infected vial. According to this star ray, disk one is infected by the SCA virus and disk one is obviously from the WHD load version. And uh, again, if you select delete, it won't delete it, but we can delete it off the record. And with this system, it's on my PC, so I can go into my directory opus on my PC, get rid of those files as long as we write them down. You may notice a huge amount of space under where the point is lying at the moment, and that's because you're supposed to drag the screen down and carry on with your work. And at the top half of the screen, you can see a boot block checker, which appears there and it shows you the contents of a boot block if you insert a disk into the machine. It will, insert, it will check any disk that you put in there and it will list any of that contents on that part of the top part of the screen. The rest of it is a status bar which checks the files very quickly indeed and you can see 56, it's still piling up there, we're still finding all those viruses. Luckily the Happy New Year 96 virus doesn't really infect games it doesn't infect any data, it doesn't infect any modules, it doesn't infect any photographs or animations or images or anything which isn't an executable and even scripts are executable so it will infect scripts but apart from that basically unless you're running an executable file you are safe from this virus so it's getting rid of them and you might notice hardly any in the games directory because it like door games doesn't care about games, it just wants executable files, of which the executable is WHD load, and guess what, that means WHD load, the command in the command directory, will be affected. So, you can even write a log to your hard drive, and I definitely recommend writing a log down, because it will not show you reverse log on the screen, not like virus checker, so if you don't save that log, unfortunately, you might lose that information. You can see we can even load and save boot blocks, we can check through the database, we can install a virus checker onto a disk, we can record, save and merge boot blocks together if it has viruses on there, and in the utilities it even gives us an application to save the ROM, that's our current ROM, that's our Amiga ROM, to a file. So if you're struggling to save your Amiga ROMs with WHD load, we can do that, and if you're running a TCP stack, you can also update this software using this package. So, we're running ROM 3.1 at the moment. We don't need to save that ROM. We've already saved it. We can see, breaking out of that, this machine is now clear of viruses. And we can enable or disable or install virus checkers onto a disk if we want to do that. And that means that we only need to insert a disk into the machine. And that will check your hard drive remotely. So please, please check your hard drives as a result of this little video. And stay safe, keep the files safe, and I'll try to double check my files next time. And thanks for watching this video. Thank you.